Now, the reason why I'm having my wife <laughs> drive behind me while I'm running this uh, mile is because I want you guys to see that this is actually happening. There's no cuts. I actually went out there and ran this. There's no tricks, you know. I showed you the watch before I took off, and I'm going to show you the watch when I'm done. Uh, and you guys will see uh, how fast or how slow I ran this uh, this one miler in. And it's not uh, that's not for my own vanity. It's just to show you guys um, the beginning of the process of this next upcoming six weeks. And during the next six weeks of training, I'm going to be filming some of those running workouts to kind of let you guys see some of the workouts that you should be doing to increase your runtime if that's something that you're looking at doing um, see how it works for me and give you like just a first person's uh, view on the experience and how you can go out there and do it yourself all right what's going on guys it's nine o'clock in the morning it's a beautiful day about 85 degrees out and we're out here about to run a one mile for time so this is really going to be the first day of a six week training program, running training program that I'm going to be putting myself through um, and strictly adhering to over the next six weeks to get my one mile time down. And the eventual goal is to get it down to a five minute mile or better. So today is gonna be totally dedicated to getting a baseline for my one mile. So I'm gonna be out here running a one mile, strict one mile on a flat track on asphalt. We're out here on a road. Um, I've got my lovely assistant with me who's going to be recording the entire event. She's right here. She just can't wait to help out. That's my wife, my, my camera person. I haven't done any other workout for the day and I had a rest day yesterday. So I'm pretty primed up and ready to go for this one mile run. I am gonna be doing some active stretching and I'm gonna be doing a one mile warm up on the same track that um, I'm gonna be running the actual one mile for time on um, just to make sure there's no potholes that I need to be aware of and just to, to give uh, the wife a rep at um, you know her camera skills and make sure she knows what she's doing so she doesn't mess it up. For your guys' awareness, um, I have taken my normal pre-workout blend like what I normally take for when uh, I do a run and that's like my pre-workout um, I'm fasted, but I do have a scoop of the car powder that I normally take um, And I've also taken a scoop of the BCAAs just so that I'm good out here nice and hydrated So I'm nice and light ready to go Watch out for cars, baby All right Gotta have the music in to keep me motivated, you know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna get our one mile uh, warm up in. I right, got my GPS ready to go. I'm gonna click it and we're gonna uh, measure out our one mile distance and I'm just gonna get a nice easy warm up in, probably running like anywhere between a uh, eight minute pace to a nine minute pace, something like that, all right? Ready? Um, yeah. All right, so we got our one mile warm up in. I ended up doing it in about seven and a half minutes. So um, probably a little too fast to be honest, but I'm just excited, man. I'm primed and ready to do this. But yeah, so I'm feeling nice and loose. Traffic's not too bad out here. It's more than I was anticipating, but like, hey, you know, that's what we got our safety vehicle for. She's gonna have, my wife's gonna have her, uh, her lights on. She's gonna be following me. We'll be good to go, okay? We're training safe out here. So I'm gonna rest and kind of like breathe it out for a good like maybe five minutes or so get primed up and ready to go. But the real question is, are you ready? I don't know, I mean, I think so. <laughs> I, think, I think she's gonna do a great job, okay? If, if something happens with the shots, you can't blame me, you gotta blame this one. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> All right guys, so we're going for at least six minutes. Again, um, I've been strength training a lot lately and not putting a whole lot of emphasis on speed uh, training or really even run training in general, so. This is going to be a pretty good test for me to see where I'm at. All right, so we're ready. We got our GPS dialed in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and then I'm going to take off, all right? Ready, go. All right, guys, so I'm here with you watching uh, this video that my lovely wife took of me <laughs> doing the 
doing the one miler for time, the uh, baseline one miler. Right off the bat, I can tell you I was already um, going way too fast when I first started. Um, I want to say I was hitting, I looked down when I first took off and I was hitting for the first 10 seconds about a four minute, 30 second mile, which is way too fast for me. I've never, never gotten, I've never even ran below a five minute mile before. So that was way too fast. I started off as a sprint. So that was, that was a mistake. So I realized that after like 10, 15 seconds, started toning it back and started finding my rhythm. Um, I was trying to stay somewhere in between a uh, 5.30 and a 6 minute mile. I had pretty good confidence going into this that I was going to be able to bang out at least a 6 minute mile if not better. So I was putting sights on a 5.30 with um, no worse than a 6 minute mile. Like I mentioned before uh, this run in the video, <clears throat> um, I've been for the last couple of months focusing on strength training uh, predominantly not so much run training um, lately. So this was kind of a gut check for me in a way. The last couple of weeks I've been, you know, getting back into the swing of things with running, um, but I definitely had it falling by the wayside a little bit just because like I said, I've been really working on strength training, um, you know, taking in a lot of calories during the day and just building up a little more muscle for myself. So um, today I'm, I've gained about five pounds um, in the last couple months, which is pretty good. That's kind of where I wanted to be, sitting comfortably at about uh, 190 pounds. So this is this is me running at uh, six foot, 190 pounds. And like I said, the goal was a six minute mile or better. So, so this is day one baseline testing for a six week run a faster uh, one mile program that I'm putting together for myself and something that I'm going to be testing out myself over the next six weeks. I'm going to be strictly uh, adhering to this program that I've built and really focusing on getting this one mile time down um, regardless of whatever time I get. This is again just a baseline test. Where am I at today? Now the reason why I'm having my wife <laughs> drive behind me while I'm running this uh, mile is because I want you guys to see that this is actually happening. There's no cuts. I actually went out there and ran this. There's no tricks. You know, I showed you the watch before I took off and I'm going to show you the watch when I'm done. Uh, and you guys will see uh, how fast or how slow I ran this, uh, this one miler in. And it's not, uh, that's not for my own vanity. It's just to show you guys um, the beginning of the process of this next upcoming six weeks. And during the next six weeks of training, I'm going to be filming some of those running workouts to kind of let you guys see some of the workouts that you should be doing to increase your runtime. If that's something that you're looking at doing, um, see how it works for me and give you like just a first person's uh, view on the experience and how you can go out there and do it yourself. So again, this isn't for my own vanity or anything. This is all for informational and motivational purposes. And I just want you guys to know for a fact that uh, there is no cheating going on here at all, okay? The end goal is to, com the, end the end goal is to complete this next six weeks successfully, um, put all the work and dedication that's required into it and then at the end run another one mile for time and hopefully get it down to my goal is a five minute or, uh, mile or better. Yeah, and I recognize this part. So around at this point, uh, I was starting to, I wouldn't say feel sorry for myself, um, but I was definitely starting to reach that, you know, feelings hurt, come to Jesus moment, <laughs> realizing I had about a quarter mile left to go and just struggle busting, all right? So I was definitely pushing uh, pretty hard here. Um, I like to say if you're not throwing up or, or shitting yourself, then you could have ran harder. And I did not throw up or shit myself by the end of this video, so you <laughs> you can't look forward to seeing that. But um, I can say I, I did work very hard on this run and I didn't hold anything back. So at this point, I'm coming up on the last leg. I'm really trying to uh, not feel bad for myself. I'm, I'm really... Uh, focusing on my form, really trying to control my breathing because at this point I'm starting to, you know, breathe out loud. You know, you're breathing very heavy. And I'm just trying to focus in, hone in on the finish line and just get there as fast as I possibly can. There's a fine line when, when you reach that come to Jesus moment where it's, it's like 
I can, it's hard to describe, but there's a point where it feels like you might almost pass out and your body is like telling you, you really, really need to stop. Like, what are you doing to yourself? You need to stop and breathe. But I promise you, man, if you just, that's, that's where your money's made right there. It's, it's that come to Jesus moment where your body's just telling you that you need to stop at your mind. You, you control your mind to tell your mind that you just need to keep on going, keep pushing and force yourself through that wall. All right, so I got there. I did my best not to fall over onto the ground and just catch my breath. Wife pulled over safely. And we did it. All right, one mile. Five minutes and 40 seconds. Ah. All right, so not, not a bad start at all. I was hoping for six minutes and I got 20 seconds less than six minutes. That's pretty good. That's about where I wanted to be starting off. That's where I was thinking I'd be at. Again, now that was day one, all right? That was my baseline testing. I know where I'm starting at a five, uh, 541 mile. I'm gonna train against a running program that I built for myself for six weeks. And we're gonna try to knock that down all the way down to a uh, five minute mile or better. Even if it's a second better than five minute miles, I'll be happy. All right, so that was day one um, of my six week running uh, training program. If you like what you see and you're interested in the progress, I'm gonna keep posting at least like once or twice a week on the pro progress of this program and how it's doing. Um, so if you like what you see and you're interested in following the progress, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of those future videos. Besides that, we gotta get my wife out of here. I need to go stretch and drink some water. I don't have anything else for you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.